Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Thursday afternoon and a very nice Thursday afternoon. We're back on the turf. We'll check out the track and weather conditions and then turn it over to track announcer Pete Iello. Stream. Trash the trailer was checked hard and the riders out of the irons early. From the outside, Beach Chick was away quickly, so it was dispensed with Ali and Jazzy trying to work over. In between horses and Miss Moreno, in tight and fighting the rating there was Talk Dirty, and that's going to cause a chain reaction. So they pretty much went everywhere across the course, and they try to alter the early pace here. Meanwhile, it's Beach Chick who's off the lead. So let's settle down. Beach Chick off the lead by five. Ali and Jazzy second, dispenses third. And in amongst rivals, Bella Sophie is now racing from fourth ahead of Talk Dirty. Backspark is at the rail. As Propodia next, a length and a half in front of Miss Moreno. And then it's a big gap to trash the trailers at a rough time of it early through an opening quarter of 24 and 1. Less than five eighths to go. Beach Chick comes out of the lead with a two length advantage. Half a mile from the finish from Bella Sophie in second and Ali and Jazzy third dispenses at the rail fourth. Talk Dirty races from fifth down at the rail and back spark that has Propodia saving ground in Miss Moreno and it's a distance to trash the trailer. 48 and two for the opening half mile. Beach Chick sailing along with a comfortable advantage. Dispense hard at work trying to gather some momentum second. Bella Sophie's all in. Backspark is improving at the rail. She's up into third. Better than five lengths off the lead with a quarter of a mile left to go. They have Edgar Prado and Beach Chick to catch. Three quarters, 112 and two. Beach Chick on top by three and a half. Dispense is second. Backspark is third. Miss Moreno is at the rail in fourth. There's an eighth of a mile to go and it's Beach Chick on top. Her strides are shortening a bit. Dispense and on the outside, Backspark trying to lunge late. Here's Backspark taking a late shot with Dispense at Beach Chick. Beach Chick needs the wire and finds it. Beach Chick holds on to win it. It's close for second. Either Dispense or Backspark. Miss Moreno ran home for fourth in 138 flat. for Gravel Gertie. Down at the inside, here goes Freezer Burn on to take over. Away in third is Twilight Galaxy with Simple Story and Starship Blanca. Second last is Auburn, and the race favorite, Lady Fiorella, is out in the center. She's last of the seven, but not far away. No more than four lengths from first to last as they chase the speed of Freezer Burn. Freezer Burn leads by a length and a half over Gravel Gertie in second. On the outside in the orange colors is Twilight Galaxy third. The gray Starship Blanc is at the rail in fourth. Out wide and Lady Fiorella held up between our Auburn and Simple Story through the opening quarter mile of 22 and four. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Freezer Burn still the target. She leads a length and a half over Twilight Galaxy second. Gravel Gertie third. Alvarado starts to get Lady Fiorella into high gear. The race favorite is now claimed third and closing ground at the leader. Starship Blanca is next with Auburn and Simple Story backs away tamely. Five sixteenths from home. Freezer Burn has the lead. Lady Fiorella within a length and a half second. Twilight Galaxy is now third. Back to fourth. Gravel Gertie trying to wind it up at the rail and Starship Blanca through a 45 and four half mile. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Freezer Burn trying to continue on with it. She leads a length and a half. Lady Fiorella takes aim second. Back to third. Twilight Galaxy. Final 16th of a mile. Lady Fiorella rising to the occasion on the outside. And she's up for the lead now. Freezer Burn did everything she could, but she could not hold off. Lady Fiorella, who wins at three to two. Freezer Burn second. Starship Blanca third. Fourth was Twilight Galaxy in 125 and two.
From the center, Shoeshine was away well toward his inside. Siddharth is not far away. Uncle Pips on the far outside. Braccio De Ferro is down toward the rail. And alongside him is Cozando as they run out of the chute. Shoeshine with the advantage. He leads a half a length. Cozando now moves to take second. Uncle Pip on the outside third. Odds on favorite Siddharth is an early fourth. He's not far away. No more than two lengths off the lead. And Braccio De Ferro trying to hold ground toward the rail behind an opening quarter of 23 and two. Gaffleon letting Shoeshine roll mid-race. He leads by two. From between horses, Siddharth along the rail. It's Braccio de Ferro, three wide in Cozando, and Uncle Pip is last. That's the five of them separated by six lengths in the run to the half-mile grounds. Shoeshine on top by two and a half. Braccio de Ferro now second. Cozando is third. Siddharth ridden hard, not gaining any ground. The trailer is Uncle Pip, and the leader is Shoeshine. 45-2 and two for a strong half-mile. Shoeshine leads by two and a half. Braccio de Ferro trying to take up the slack second. Cozando bids up sharply on the outside third. These top three have it to themselves as appears as Siddharth is not kicking in, nor is Uncle Pip, and there's a quarter of a mile left to go. Shoeshine maintains a lead after three quarters and 109 and two. Shoeshine rolling, but still in front. Braccio De Ferro and on the outside, Cozando try to get to him with an eighth of a mile to go. It's Shoeshine roused on the top end and still finding. Cozando and Braccio De Ferro, they're hard at work and they're battling, but they're battling for second as Shoeshine goes gate to wire with a two and a half length win. Braccio De Ferro second, Cozando was third, Siddharth ran fourth, then Uncle Pip in 135. And four. C was well served at the start. Map him up is right alongside. Up on the far outside, Bryn Bella trying to march forward to avoid a wide trip to the first turn. Secrets kept his next. Cosi's at the rail and three wide is Joy and Grace as they charge into that first turn. Map him up has the lead and has the rail. Leads a length and a quarter. Bryn Bella is their second. Secrets kept in the black colors races from third. Up on the outside, that's Joy and Grace, an early fourth for Corey Lannery. And Kosi and Edgar Zayas out the back door early. They're fifth and last, and about four lengths off the pace setter. Map them up. 23-2 and two for the opening quarter. Map them up. Leads by a length and a half. Bryn Bella is second. Secrets kept is now third. Joy and Grace remains fourth, and Kosi is at the inside. So there's no change in the plot mid-race as they had less than five furlongs from home. It's Map them up, still the target. She leads a length and a quarter. Bryn Bella on hold while second. Third is Secrets Kept, fourth is Joy and Grace, and last at the rail, Cosi. Inside half a mile from the finish, they went 47-3 and three for the opening half mile. Map them up, has been in front from the outset, maintains control by a length. Bryn Bella is there, second, two better than Secrets Kept, third. Cosi trying to launch a bid, she's up into fourth, and Joy and Grace is now fifth and last as they move to the top of the stretch. Map them up, tries to go the distance here, still has the lead. Bryn Bella now turning up the heat noticeably now. Bryn Bella up within a neck of the lead after three quarters and 111 and two. Map them up, trying to turn Bryn Bella away. Map them up into the drive, still maintaining a lead. Bryn Bella second, but running out of time down the center. Secrets kept coming on, less than an eighth of a mile to go. Map them up, has one more 16th to get with the outside horse. Secrets kept closing ground. Secrets kept is lifting late, but Map them up is in front. Map them up went gate to wire under Angel Arroyo and beat Secrets kept by a neck in 143 flat. Six furlongs the trip, it's time for the Rainbow Six. And they're off. Miss Michaela, the favorite, was off slowly and then in traffic right alongside Lunar Blast. So the two favorites are last and second last to get underway. Early advantage belongs to the biggest one who leads by an neck over Chispita, who moves to take second. Two and a half to She's a Happy Girl, who's now third. Jedi Jane on the outside, fourth. After a bad start, Miss Michaela's between horses, and she's two and a half clear of Lunar Blast with half a mile left to run. 
The biggest one holds inside ground right alongside Chispita. They're a length and a half better than She's a Happy Girl, who's together with Miss Michaela. A length and a half to Jedi Jane, who will need to do better than that. Lunar Blast is last as they round the far turn. Chispita bidding up on the outside of the biggest one at the 5 16th. She's a Happy Girl, looks for racing room under Victor LeBron. Miss Michaela's on the outside, and there's a quarter of a mile left to go. The biggest one has the lead. Chispita second. She's a Happy Girl. Wheels off their flank to try to take up the slack third with three. Three sixteenths to go. From between horses, Chispita toward the outside. It's She's a Happy Girl who's surging to the front. Back on the inside and the biggest one is game and boxing hard. Inside the final sixteenth, She's a Happy Girl is clear. She's a Happy Girl, a seven to one winner. She won by two and a half. Second, the biggest one, Chispita was third. Then Miss Michaela in 112 flat. Beautiful beginning for Majestic Row, who's headed off for the early lead, splitting horses, American Phenom, up on the outside, turn of events, and in tight between is Template. Give me some more trying to work over. Out the rail goes Call Kurt, and two and a half to the trailer, Exult, as they run into the first turn. Up front, it's Majestic Row and Julian Leparu on top by a length and a half from American Phenom in second. Down at the rail goes Template, who's racing on from third and between horses. Call Kurt, wide on the course, that's turn of events. Then give me some more and Exult. Field separated by four and a half lengths in the run past the opening quarter. Majestic Row has the lead. Traveling comfortably at this stage. A length better than American Phenom second. Template is at the rail and races a joint third. Outside in turn of events, three wide while fourth and call Kurt is between horses. Still at the back are Exult and Gimme Samo as the pace slows mid-race. Majestic Row has the lead. He's a half length in front of American Phenom who races from second. Template is third. Turn of events remains fourth. Call Kurt losing his spot a bit. Three wide and gimme some O. At the rail exult as they swing to the far turn. Three and a half furlongs from home. Majestic Row still the target. American Phenom given the green light to try to get on turn second. From the back, here's Gimme Samo. He was sixth. He's now fifth, now fourth, now third. And moving at the top duo. At the rail and racing on next is Template. Dropping back turn of events. Exult has been last throughout as they run to the top of the stretch. Majestic Row cuts the corner with Gimme Samo. Three wide. American Phenom between horses into the clear. Call Kurt on a rebid. Down the center and Exult with the late say. They're all within two lengths of each other with a 16th to run. Here comes Cole Kurt powering up to take the lead now. Cole Kurt under Junior Alvarado's the winner. Cole Kurt a length better than the end. Second outside was Exult. Third, Gimme Samo. Then the American Phenom and turn of events. They're off. Slow start for the outside horse, Sonura. 
Quick start for Deemed Essential. Moving tour is Unshakable You. They're the first two to begin. Assembly Juiced from the high draws moved over to the three path already. She's now third. Kay's Project is at the inside. Fourth just behind her is World Tour. Next along the rail goes We'll Take All together with Make Me Laugh. On heels and off for our rivals there was Miss Empirement. She didn't have a good run into the first turn. Saving ground went Iris the Empress. Down at the rail, Money for Row comes away toward the back of the field. And after a slow getaway, Sonura's last of all. The opening quarter was 23 and 3. Into the back stretch they go, Unshakable You, the daughter of Bodie Meister, front and center, and on top by a length over Deemed Essential in second. Assembly Juiced on the outside is now third. Case Project is at the rail fourth. Followed fifth by World Tour, two and a half better than Make Me Laugh. Then it's Will Take All. Iris, the Empress, is down at the inside, just behind her Money for Row. Then Miss Empirement, and the trailer is Sanura. 47 and 4 for the opening half mile. Three and a half furlongs left to run. Unshakable U is the leader. Deemed essential trying to creep closer from second. Here's World Tour moving sharply now third. Up on the outside, Assembly Juice is there fourth. Dropping back is Kay's Project. Trying to wind it up from the back is Make Me Laugh as they straighten for the drive. Good trip here from World Tour. She has every opportunity to reel in Unshakable U, who's an eighth of a mile from home and a length on top. World Tour takes aim, elongates her stride, and here she comes now. World World Tour to the top. Back to second is deemed essential. Rather unshakable you up to third. Money for row. World Tour well handled the victory. Unshakable you second. Money for row third. Fourth was deemed essential in 135 and four. One mile the trip, wrap the post, and they're off. Off balance at the start was Dark Ages. Quick beginning in the center for Honolulu Express with Just Like Mike alongside. From the far outside, Green Mansions won't be far away, and Gangly is driving through at the rail. They're followed by Charlie the Greek. Out the back early is Please Sit Down as they run out of the chute. Up front, it's outside running Green Mansions and inside running Honolulu Express. Their heads apart. Just like Mike is third up on his outside and Charlie the Greek. Two back to Gangly, then comes Dark Ages, and it's a gap of three more to Please Sit Down, who's last of the seven after the opening quarter went to Honolulu Express. Honolulu Express leads a half a length on the outside. Green Mansions is second. Charlie the Greek is third. Just like Mike is fourth and down toward the rail, a gap of two and a half. Outside in Dark Ages, inside in Gangley, and four more to please sit down. 46 and two for the opening half mile. Honolulu Express leads a half a length. Green Mansions is second. Charlie the Greek is there third. Just like Mike, leading his turn at the rail in fourth. Up on the outside, Dark Ages is asked to quicken and responding while four wide. Gangly will have to giddy up from there. And please sit down. Has been last throughout with a quarter of a mile left to go. Honolulu Express has the lead. Just like Mike, looking for room toward the rail. Now LeBron has please sit down, circling horses. He's on a big time move while six wide. Top of the lane, Honolulu Express still has the lead. Eighth of a mile more to get and three on top. Please sit down, charging at him from the outside. 16th to go. Honolulu Express is still clear. Please sit down, running out of time. Honolulu Express, gate to wire. Please sit down from last to second. Up third was Dark Ages, then Green Mansion, 136 left.
And they're off. Excellent beginning from J.P. Hellish, who's headed off for the early lead. Moving to take him on is Ballistico, and up on their outside goes Croy. They're the first three out. Getting over from the high draw, Freedom Matters is three wide. My point exactly holding down the rail. Well, in a bit tight between that duo and Super Jaguar, the two at the back are Totono and Moni. They circle the first turn with Ballistico in front by a length and a quarter. Up on the outside, Croy is there second. J.P. Hellish, after that good getaway, is a pocketed up third. Up on his outside goes Freedom Matters, while fourth in amongst rivals is Super Jaguar. Three deep on the course is Moni. Down at the rail goes my point exactly, and the trailer is Totono. 23-4 and four for the opening quarter. It's a reasonable pace, and Ballistico and Edgar Zayas putting up the numbers. They lead a half a length. Croy turning up the heat second. Freedom Matters three wide third. J.P. Hellish is now fourth from between rivals and Super Jaguar. Moni is three wide. Irad Ortiz Jr. has my point exactly about five lengths off the pace setter, and the trailer is long shot to Tono. 47-1 and one for the opening half mile, less than three furlongs to run. Ballistico has the lead by a neck. Croy turning up the heat, and he's on the attack now. Three wide freedom matters. J.P. Hellish is fourth, then Super Jaguar, and my point exactly, less than a quarter of a mile to go. Croy on the outside. Ballistico tries to battle back toward the rail. Splitting horses, J.P. Hellish back to fourth, and freedom matters with an eighth of a mile to go. J.P. Hellish and Croy have kicked on. J.P. Hellish has taken the lead. It's J.P. Hellish close to home. J.P. Hellish will win it. Second is Croy, close for third. Either Ballistico or Freedom Matters in 128 and 2. Good start for Hotsy Totsy, sent through at the rail, follow the flag, and in between them, Zodiac Princess, moving up on the outside, all come true, trying to work over, beam of light into the top flight. Hera taken in hand to race ahead of Azu, then Holiana, and the trailer is Feature Creature. And the charge to the first turn, there are th still three across the course here, Zodiac Princess getting bounced around between, she'll take back to land third. All come true, now strides forward to take the lead from follow the flag in second. Zodiac Princess is third. Two and a half to Beam of Light, who's now fourth, racing outside of Hotsi Totsi, who's down toward the inside. Then Hira, together with Azu, two back to Holiana. The trailer is Feature Creature. Strong quarter here, 23 seconds flat. Castellano letting all come true, loose on the front end. She leads a length and a half. Zodiac Princess is second. The gray follow the flag is third at the fence. Behind a posted half mile of 46 and four. Hotsi Totsi is together with Beam of Light, then Azu and Hira. Two and a half to Holiana, and last throughout is Feature Creature. Three and a half furlongs left to race. All come true has the lead. She tries to make a break for it. Leads a length and a quarter. Follow the flag, getting ready to launch her bid while trying to get to the heels of the leader. Hotsi Totsi, meanwhile, she's also looking for a clear racetrack. She'll have to go four wide, but she's loose now as they converge on All Come True, who's on the ropes to the attack now. Holiana closing ground over the top. Hotsi Totsi's with her. Hotsi Totsi and Holiana kick on. Holiana on the outside. Hotsi Totsi toward the rail. Hotsi Totsi and Holiana. Holiana and Hotsi Totsi. Here it is. It's Hotsi Totsi in front. Hotsi Totsi turned away the bold bid from Holiana and beat her a neck. Feature Creature rallied from last to get third in 135 and four. And that wraps up Thursday's action. What a nice weekend ahead at Gulfstream Park. It kicks off on Friday. Of course, each and every Friday we have the Stronic Five, and it's Beat the Expert Day. And Acacia is up. You get a chance to win a cool polo shirt by playing Beat the Expert. It's absolutely free. Go to GulfstreamPark.com. And on Saturday, the Grade 3 Royal Delta. Really nice weekend shaping up. Make sure you follow us on the First Bet app. 
expressbet.com, and of course, you can stream the races all day long on gulfstreampark.com. Good night, good luck, and we'll see you back here on Friday. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.